Alright, we need to talk about this new PlayStation Portal. A new handheld device that lets you play your PS5 games on the go. But is it worth buying? Let's find out. The PlayStation Portal is a portable device that connects to your PS5 console via Wi-Fi and allows you to remote play compatible games on its 8-inch LCD screen. The device has a 1080p resolution at 60 frames per second, which is pretty impressive for a handheld device. But I wish if they they added an OLED display instead of LCD, but the video quality is still very impressive. It also features the DualSense wireless controller, which has haptic feedback and adaptive triggers that enhance the gaming experience. The PlayStation Portal is designed to be comfortable in the hands, with a nice, sharp screen that can deliver gameplay at up to 60 frames per second with high image clarity. It also has a 3.5mm headphone jack for wired audio connections, and a PlayStation Link compatible headset for wireless audio. The device can play any game that is installed on your PS5 console, as long as it supports remote play. Personally I think this is a great device to play your PS5 games. I mean it's literally PS5 in the palm of your hands like the Unbox Therapy said. But I wouldn't recommend playing any shooting or FPS games as there's a little lag. But this portal comes real handy when someone else is already using your TV and you just want to play games on your PS5. Also you can expect the battery life of this to last for around 7 to 9 hours. But you can charge it using a USB-C cable in about an hour. However, the PlayStation Portal is not without its drawbacks. The device has no Bluetooth functionality, which means you can't connect your own wireless headphones or speakers. But if you want to connect to a headphone, you must have like a PlayStation compatible headset, like the new $200 PlayStation Pulse Explorer earbuds. It also cannot play games via cloud streaming, so you need to have the games installed on your PS5 before you can remote play with it. The device also fully relies on your PS5 console, which means you need to have a strong Wi-Fi connection and a power outlet nearby. According to Sony, you'll need at least a 50 megabits per second internet connection to play your games on the portal without any lag. But I would recommend you to have at least a 100 megabits per second connection to play your game seamlessly. The device won't work across networks, so you can't play your PS5 games from anywhere. And finally, the device doesn't do anything besides PS5 remote play, so you can't use it for anything else, like browsing the web, watching videos, or playing other games. So, is the PlayStation Portal worth buying? Well, that depends on your preferences and needs. If you are a hardcore PS5 fan who wants to play your games on a handheld device, and you don't mind the limitations and the price tag, then the PlayStation Portal might be a good option for you. But if you are looking for a more versatile and affordable handheld device, or you don't have a PS5 console, then you might want to look elsewhere. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more gaming reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!